Okay, now uh, let's go to the garden. I say, what a beezer guard beezer. The heck is that supposed to be? I've been for walks in the park some more than this. Well, Rex could be hiding some anywhere in here. So we'd better start looking. Except I don't think it probably is. Let her just in the house and reduce is going to the wild goose chase, goose chase for no reason. Nice. Oh, thank you! A puzzle. Oh, I say, Miss, there's a puzzle hidden among these flowers here. What's a puzzle in a place like that? We may never know, but it doesn't stop us from trying to solve it, Ernest. Would you do the honors? Shoe souffle. That sounds delicious. Not really. The shoes up by the front door are in a complete mess. Tidy them all up so that they are in the correct pairs. Move the double-ended arrow between the various shoes uh, using the directional buttons and select to switch the, shoe, the two shoes at either end of the, uh, of the arrow. You can switch left, right or up and down, but you only have 9 shuffles in total to get everything straight. Ah, okay, so it's like that. Oh no. Uh, I guess this works too, I suppose. Wait. Oh! Okay. If you'll entertain my idea here. Thank goodness I got that right. Do I get extra picarettes for solving with two, two, two rotations left? No, apparently not. That was choose shuffle, not choose to flay. Oh, thank Christ, I thought it was going to be something disgusting. Very good, Ernest. Well done. Thank you, miss. That was a rather delightful like, little puzzle, don't you think? And yeah, I kind of already figured what the heck is supposed to go on here and all that. I'm just exploring to see if I don't miss anything like hint coins and all like. I care. And with that, I think I found everything I did in this garden that isn't the... Uh... Story context, so let's go. This probably is the first part. What a wonderful array of different trees and plants. Oh dear, what am I treading on? Ah, snake, snake! Calm down, Lurus, it's just a skin. A snake skin? I hate snakes, I hate skin. Uh, I feel sick. <laughs> I'm not sure that's a snake skin, actually. I'm not so sure that's... Oh no, miss. Please don't pick it up, even on a stick. It's all powers investigating, Ernest. You can't be squeamish about these things. Now let's have a look. Uh, it is skin, but you're right, miss. It's hard to tell if it belongs to a stick or something else. In the garden on this side, there are bound to be one or two adders. Cheryl, please! Oh dear, I hope we don't have to be here too long. Rap okay, I'm not sure what the hell this has to do with anything. And the gate. 
That's another way in and out of the property. Not so grand as the gates we came through. Look, it's a bit broken at the bottom. You're right, Cheryl. Or had it took a blow from a football or something when children were playing out on the street. I imagine it's hard to stay on top of repairs with a property of this size. Hmm, well, we've conducted a thor thorough search of the garden now, but still no rags. Where could that cat have gone got to? Hmm. Ah, I see Aiden Shirley thinking. Well, what do you have to do? I'm forming a picture of what might have happened based on the evidence here in the garden. Really? What's our job, Cheryl? Oh, this is exciting. Do tell us, Mr. Holmes. Well, as we know, Rex slipped on the banana skin and shut, shut out the open French doors. Then in the garden he caught his leg. The shock made him flee from the garden through the broken side gate. Uh, okay, the problem with that is that Cats, I don't say they are afraid of snakes, but I've seen a lot of, and yeah, there are some are. The pickle joke of a cat go, goes in, a cucumber or something like that. But the big thing is that cats, sometimes the snake is small enough, cats will actually grab them in their mouth. Play and kill with it, because, you know, cats do that. How's that for, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to say that he also ended up going through the open gate there. How's that for, for detective work? You, may, you mean Rex isn't even in the grounds anymore? That would be the general idea, Pinstripes, yeah. That looked high and low and found nothing. Gosh, that's going to make tracking him down rather more of a sticky wicket. Well, we can't just give up just because it's, it's, it's sticky or wickety. Hey, <laughs> if Rex has left the ground, then we must follow. Alright then, let's head back out onto the street. If the cat isn't used to leaving the property, then it's probably not, not too far away. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Well then, let's see what you can find out on the street. Hmm, no castle looks like Rex out here. Rex, your mommy's worried about you, come on! Mommy? Madame Dublé. She's human, Rex is a cat. Does that mean she can't be his mother? Oh! What? A cat! Over there! Over there! Look! Do you see? Do you see this? Yeah, but that is not knowing that is Rex. Meow. Meow. Oh no, that's not Rex. That's some other cat. Different colored fur and everything. And it's far too skinny. The cat of a wealthy owner like Madame Dubé wouldn't be skinny like that. Agreed. Let's keep looking. You already gave it a poll, so maybe your legs here has a clue. Ah, detectives! Alex, good! I'm glad we've run into you again. We're searching for a cat, have you seen any? No, yes. I see many cats in the streets. What kind of cat do you look for? He's called Rex and he's white all over. He's from a rather well-to-do household and looks apart. Hmm, no. I have not seen cats like this. Oh, what a pity. Well, we've been all around the street by Madame Dubé's mansion now, and see no sign of Rex. Cats are fickle creatures, that's the trouble. Tracking them down is always hard. What's our next move, Aiden Cheryl? Our only option now is to widen the search. If we're lucky, maybe we'll find a clue at least, even if we don't find Rex himself. Alright then, let's do this. Let's start looking further afield. Again! Cheryl is actually doing a surprising banger job of what a detective, again, what I assume. A detective would actually do in search of search for something. Hiya, how are you? Oh, hello, yes, fine, thanks. What can I do for you? Sorry for stopping like this in the street, I just wondered if you heard of a new maze craze. The new maze craze? No. Ernest, do you know about such a craze? No, I can't say I've heard about anything like that. Just to be clear. I'm a dog, so... No. Oh well, I tried. You see, it's a bit... Uh, but it's a bit too hard for me. So would you like mine? Oh, thank you. Yes, it sounds interesting, I must say. Ah, I thought you looked like the sort of person who wants to give it a go. Here you are, then. It's all yours. That's very kind of you. I look forward to trying. Hound in the pound the hell? 
The hundred pound minigame can now be found in Catriel's bag. It's a puzzle game in which you have to help Shiro escape from the pound by guiding him through the maze, switching the colored blocks up and down as you go. See if you can get what it takes to complete all the levels. Again, I probably haven't got to dedicate apart from just doing one of each or something like that. Or a couple levels. Ah, we've looked all over the place now, and still no whiff of Rex or any clues of, of his vera, to his whereabouts. That car or that truck wasn't there before. We need to try to think where he'd be want to go for cats. Agreed, but I'm a cat and I don't know. Well, I think they generally like small enclosed spaces and high vantage points. Those seem to also be true, but there are hundreds of places like that around here. No point sticking our tails between our legs and giving up. Let's take another look around. Ooh, girly. Ah, there's a van parked up here. Look, it would appear to be delivering something. My nose is starting to get itchy. Dear me, you haven't been looking for Madame Dublé's residence all this time, have you? No, we found it, thank you. We're looking for Madame's lost cat. You haven't seen a lost looking feline around here, have you? She's lost her cat? Oh, what a shame. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't think I've seen any cats, no. I must say, I had heard she kept a cat. I'll have to tell the ladies at once, this is big news. I should have to consider getting a little pussy of my own, I think, if Madame has one. Hello, 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 what have we here? Can I be of any assistance? Then it is, after all, my beat. Although, I must say, the delicious smell wafting my way is making walking the beat at a diner trying time a try, a try, a trying experience. Oh, hiya! What are you to? What are you up to? Anything exciting? We're looking for a cat. He escaped from Madame Dubé's res residence, it seems. Oh, bells. No, the name isn't ringing any bells. <laughs> but seriously, though, I have no idea what the name is supposed to be upon. Madame Dubé? Oh, the large lady who lives in the big mansion over there. Yes! No, what is she over? Here's your cat! Don't worry, she's not around at the moment. You haven't seen a cat around here, have you? Yes, yes I have. Really? I just saw it over there a minute ago. Hold on, I'll bring it over to you. This could be it, case closed. Let's wait and see, shall we, Ernest? Here he is, look. Isn't he terrific? Honestly, he's adorable. This could be one at a push. And it sort of looks like a cat in the picture. It sort of does. Wishful thinking, Cheryl. Wishful thinking. No, sadly, this isn't Rex. It was very good of you to try and help, but unfortunately, this isn't the cat you're looking for. Ow. Oh, oh well. So, Kitty, what do you want to do? Come home with me? Hey, where are you going, Kitty? It went straight over to the van. Perhaps like, the van scares something the cat likes to smell of. Ah! Wake up, you two! It's the fish van! That's the fish van! Look! There's an official logo and the world's fish market on it! In capitals! How many more clues do you need? Gosh, you're right! The cat was following the fishy scent! In any case, maybe Rex went, went after it too. Let's investigate. Yes, miss. Oh boy. Oh, there he goes, the van. Um, wait, please wait. Wait! It's driving off. Come on, you have to chase on foot. You'll never be able to catch a vehicle, Miss Layton. Says who? Possible? Uh, task, miss. Time to call it a day, I think. Never! Catrail Layton doesn't know the meaning of the word GIVE UP! That's two words. 
Then I don't know the meaning of it twice. <laughs> I love the dynamic between these guys. Especially Sean. Sean and Cat, I mean. If we can't follow the van, we'll just have to find someone who knows where it was how it was going. You know, if you thought of that sooner, you could have saved yourself a lot of lung ache. Never mind. Let's just focus on our energy now and find someone who knows where the van might have gone. Oh, the cat! Any PCB tools? As a puzzle. I say, excuse me, do you know anything about the van that was just parked here? The van? Feels like that, that are a bit of my life. We've been puzzling over, the, over this sticky van issued back at the station for months. Eh? I don't think that's what he meant, but okay. 48 Tunnel Vision. We need to use this truck to get through to the other side of the tunnel, but the truck is just a little bit too tall and won't fit. It looks like it will go through if a little something was removed from it, but what? You are not allowed to break the truck or take off anything that isn't normally removable. Give me your answer as a word. Three weeks later. Because here's the thing. Isn't that gonna be the... Because... Right? I have a feeling that perhaps... Yeah, it was! Still more patch on this Layton, of course. Honestly, the original idea that I had was to remove the, one of the, the wheels. The problem is the car won't move without them, so maybe if we did something with the wheels... You did it! We're moving a little bit of air from the tires is all that's needed. Just don't let out so much that the truck can't move. Oh, that's smashing, that is! Well done! Now I can finally get me mine back on the job. Now then, Constable. Do you think we could get back to the matter at hand? Oh yes, Miss Satan. Was there something in particular you, uh, you was wanted to speak to me about? You were wondering if you might know where the van that was parked here before would have gone to. The one with the fish logo, you know. Ah oh, yes, the fishmonger tin can. That one comes straight down the wharf, I believe. The wharf? Just near here. Oh, uh, the Thames, you mean. Thank you, PC Beat. Could it be that Rex hopped the ride in the van? That has ended up in the river, then? To the Thames, team. Oh, the bike is now here, because of course it is. You are alive at Wharf. I think it's pronounced Wharf. Here we are, look, this is one, this is the wharf. Go, gosh, look at the boats coming and going. If you weren't investigating a case, it would be a lovely spot to sit and watch all the activity on the river, but aha! Look over there, that's our van. My golly, you're right, miss. What a piece of luck, what a piece of luck finding it straight away like that. Let's investigate so we have a chance. You could draw, draw life off again at any moment. Oh yes, of course. I often see vans driving themselves. Wharf, wharf of the Thames. Oh, this guy's back. But it just sounds like a crazy banana. It's a busy place this wharf, isn't it? Look at the boat just about to leave now. What do you suppose they're less carry? Bananas, I think. Probably imported from overseas and now being delivered to somewhere else along the river. I do like river rivers and boats. I love to jump on one now and sail away. Oh well, miss, if you will, I will. Leaving a dog in charge of the business. Good thinking, team. Good thinking. I'm sure you can handle things, Cheryl. Well, obviously I could. In fact, the Sherlock Holmes Detective Consultancy, that almost sounds believable. You have to move the office to, Bake, to Barker Street, though. Are you mocking me? Hehe. <laughs> 
As I said, they're probably going to be... Oh! Nice! Strongman statue, Jesus! Sorry? There you go. I know this guy doesn't have a clue, so I might as well see him, talk to him. Hello, Poponio! Hello, I'm very sorry, but I'm really not interested in buying a Poponio. Okay, no problemo. Maybe you like this cute bunny puzzle instead. That was awfully nice of him. Hoppy bunnies. Some rabbits are playing on the in the field. The rules is that they have to go between the, the two other rabbits whenever they move. And it looks like they all want to end up in the patch of flowers. Help all the rabbits find their way to some flowers. Select a rabbit to see what, where it can go. And decide which one to move where. You can move the same rabbit twice in a row. What the? Uh, okay. This one's gonna take a little while for me to figure out. Uh, hold on, guys. Uh, BRB. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Maybe we should we leave this guy here. This one here, we go here. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I think I get it. I think I. Oh, wait. I think I get it. No, wait. Yes! This is an interesting one. And that's how it's done. You did it. Those bunnies look happy now. By taking turns moving the two rabbits anti clockwise, this puzzle can be completed in five steps. Yeah, I realized something because when the first time I moved inside impasse, I weirded out and I. Well, I started thinking, and then I figured out why. Because I needed to move him a bit more. Thank you, that was a cute puzzle. You were right. You did it. You solved the puzzle. You are a very clever solver of puzzles. Let's, now let's see how you dance. Not sure what dancing has to do with anything, but okay. It looks like the boat docked over there is transporting a cargo of bananas. Okay. Again, I feel like I'm missing a hint coin around here somewhere. I'm not sure where though. Is expect there to be one here, but no. Yeah, well, let's talk to this fine gentleman here. Ah, what a grand waste of time. Oh! Has there been some kind of incident here? Oh no, I wouldn't be calling it an incident now. All that happens was I was after loading everything onto the ship back there when a snowy white cat jumped out, out at me from the hole. A snowy white cat? Ah, oh, that's what I said. Jumped out like a tiger, so he did. Anyway, now they're thinking there could be more cats high on board. They're doing a full blown search. It'll be late anyway, I tell ya. What happened to the cat that jumped out at you? I'm blessed if I know that that thing bolted off, thing bolted off with fair old speed, so it did. I see. Well, thank you. You've been very helpful. So we know that... Rex was here. Pooh, what a pong. You'd certainly know what this van is used for, wouldn't you? It's dark and dingy, cramped and fishy. It's like being inside the belly of an enormous well or something. It's very invigorating. I'm so very what? In what way? I kind of agree with you, sure. Rex, Rex, if you're in there, come out now. Mm. Nice try. Nice try, Pinstripes. But it's not going to be that easy. Perhaps it's already zipped out of the van and gone somewhere else. Yep. Ah, oh, what's that? It's a dog barking, isn't it? Can you, can you understand what it's saying, Cheryl? It, it caught me off guard. I didn't 
I didn't care what you said. Really? Even with those enormous ears of yours? That's right, you wouldn't be my enormous dog ears. Hmm. Oh well, if you didn't hear, you can be helped. Maybe something's going on over there. Yes, you could be right. Let's go and investigate. I still can't help but feel be a weird. Ow. Really? Oh, that is annoying. Well, at least I found a thing called that. 